Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlogs, welcome back to my channel. It is a Wednesday, Wednesday, it's Wednesday. We are having such a chill Wednesday, it, weather, negative, us sleepy girls today. So I didn't sleep so hot last night and so we have just been having a slow day did a self tan no makeup kind of like self-care day because i was like well if it's raining and we're probably not gonna go anywhere then might as well and Sutton just got up from a contact nap now it is like three o'clock and i was like i haven't even talked to the vlog today verbally and yeah anyways hello welcome back to the vlog we have truly just been having such like a chill at home day which i love to have a couple times a week just to not be so go 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 and like less exhausted but we are all sleepy tired over here from the sleep regression i keep mentioning because we keep experiencing it i'm hungry so i'm sure she's hungry and ready for some lunch so we're gonna go downstairs and do lunch but right now she's just playing with a laundry basket so i'm like let her enjoy her creativity and we will go eat lunch whenever she decides she's done with that is that fun Lunch was a little rough because I couldn't get her to eat, but finally got her to eat some Greek yogurt with honey and almond butter. I swear, I tried like three different things before that, and now I'm so full because I was like, I'm not going to let this food go to waste. So I ate my lunch, which I just had like the turkey burger with um, spinach on top. Then I had this little mini Trader Joe's pizza, blackberries and banana. I'm like so full. Colin just called me because, you know, our like everyday call of, hey, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, harvest bowls. So we're making harvest bowls tonight. Now I'm eating the rest of her yogurt so it doesn't go to waste. These are the turkey burgers that I do. You just make them on the stove top. And then in like the last three minutes of cooking, I put spinach on top with a um, cover over the pan. And that way it cooks the spinach nicely. Um, I just have her watching a show right now so I can clean up the kitchen. I almost forgot I brought something clothes down here to put in the washer to do a load of her laundry and then I got distracted and ran back upstairs and I almost forgot about them so I just like in a panic was like oh my god I forgot to do her laundry <sighs> so like, my brain is like not functioning today since it started raining we have two extra of those paint kits I bought two extra so um I'm gonna set that up and we'll just do some painting You want to paint? 
you're gonna paint some eggs. Whoever commented that one time, and you were like, you should have saved her tablecloth from her birthday to do crafts with. I am thinking of you at this very moment. You are so right. And I should just get like a little craft mat that's like reusable and we can just keep washing. Literally. Oh, good job. It's upside down now. Is that okay with you? Look, this one's right side up. Oh, are you already mixing colors together? Oh, girl. Okay. Oh, girl. Okay, I'm gonna do pink flowers. This no. one needs to be pink. E. Yeah. Good job. What are you counting? Oh my gosh, Sutton, that looks so cute. Here's Sutton's egg. She kind of uh, dipped after a little bit because she wasn't into it, but I just finished mine. Colin got home too, by the way. So I was just having some like therapeutic painting session while he's outside playing with her. But these are my eggs. I feel like this dinner is becoming like a weekly rotation. I wanted to quickly thank today's sponsor of the video, which is Squarespace. You guys know I love to work with Squarespace all the time. They are how I created my website. I'm so grateful for them for continuing to work with me. So if you guys are new to Squarespace, they are the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. So whether you are just starting out with your own company or if you're already managing a growing brand, Squarespace has the tools that you need to create a beautiful website. You can engage with your audience from there and you can sell anything so whether that's products to content to time you can sell anything all in one place and all on your terms um, I will insert some footage of my website here Squarespace has so many features that help contribute to the success of your website such as analytics so you can use insights to grow your business learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and then analyze which channels are most effective that way you can improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content if you have a business where you take appointments, so if you are a therapist or a personal trainer, you can accept appointments on your Squarespace website. You can offer online or in-person private sessions, workshops, and group classes. And Squarespace provides everything you need to manage your schedule, accept secure payments, and send automatic reminders. That way you can beautifully showcase your services and more. So if you aren't very artistically inclined and creating a website sounds really daunting to you, it is actually so easy with their flexible website templates. So you just get started with one of their professional website templates with designs for every category and every use case. And then you can customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. And you can make any Squarespace template do what you want. So your idea, brand, or business stands out on every device. Those are only a few of the many, many features that Squarespace has to offer. They really have it all. They've thought of every business professional in every career, every aspect, and made it so everyone can succeed while using Squarespace. So cannot recommend enough. If you guys are interested, you can head to squarespace.com to check out their free trial. And then whenever you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Bianca Henderson, and that will get you guys 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So that's squarespace.com slash Bianca Henderson for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. And thank you as always to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Everything will be in the description box below. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Um, I forget why I just fell off from vlogging last night, but literally all I did was lay in bed do my red light mask and then I quite literally fell right to sleep because I was so tired also um Wesleyan's husband Zach he turns 30 in a couple days and so um she's doing this thing where she has people send videos in for his birthday yada 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 so Colin and I filmed our video for him telling him happy birthday and it was literally so funny um so we did that too but at least I thought it was funny she thought it was funny my, we need to take my car in because it's having a hard time starting. But Colin goes out of town today until my birthday. My birthday is on Saturday. And the only plans that we have are going strawberry picking, which I think is going to be so fun. And then we go to Charleston at the end of the month, which I'm like considering a like partial birthday trip because we're staying for like five days, which I'm just so excited about. So 
I'm excited about it now. But here's the thing. Last time I went to Charleston, I like hated it, but we went in the middle of summer. Like my mom and I went for the 4th of July and it was so hot and humid. I was like, I kind of hate this place. And I felt bad for the horses. So now I'm like so curious to see it because I haven't been back in like six years. So I'm like, we'll have a different perspective now, you know? And back then I used to care so much about the way my hair looked and the way my makeup looked. And now I'm like, I don't even care. I can throw it in a ponytail or a bun. Like it literally doesn't bother me at all. I have two stories to tell you. I looked up what age is considered your late twenties and it's 27. So I'm entering into my late twenties and that just doesn't seem right. I still feel like I'm a teen mom sometimes. And then um, also I was watching a TikTok the other day and it was this teenage girl going um, thrifting and she was at Goodwill and she's like, oh my God. I found this vintage wet seal dress and I was like, uh, I'm like so positive that like 10, like 12 years ago, 12 or 13 at this point, um, I was shopping at wet seal for clothes for, wait, yeah, 13, holy crap. I was shopping at clothes when I was 14, 13, 14, so I guess it's 14 years ago for if I was 13, but anyways, uh, clothes for high school, like I was like, look, mom, let's go to wet seal, like everyone is going to wet seal. And this girl called it vintage. I was like, it's not that old. Anyway, when she said vintage wet seal, my jaw hit the absolute floor. Like, it went to the basement, honestly. I was like, vintage wet seal? Absolutely not. Vintage limited two, for sure. Vintage, what was that other store called? Limited to justice? Vintage just, vintage justice? Yes. Vintage wet seal? No, that's not vintage. I don't think that it shook me to my core when she said vintage wet seal I was like am am I old I know I'm not old but we cannot be calling this vintage wet seal that shook me okay guys I'm back home and I was gonna try and shower really quick before Colin left but my dad called me because he usually calls me when he's going to work like some days um other days he calls me um when he's driving to lunch so today was a day where he called me when he was going to work and we were just chatting and then Sutton woke up and then Colin went and left. He's going to Kansas for work today, Wichita. So, um, anyways, say bye to him and I'll just shower after my mom gets back. Um, I think we're just going to go like run errands today. Like we really have nothing to go get truly. Um, but they just built that Nordstrom rack up in Kennesaw. And so I figured we could do like Nordstrom Rack home goods, like that kind of situation, just to like get out of the house, walk around. I have nothing I plan on buying. Probably won't buy anything, but just to like get out of the house and look around. So that's what I was thinking. Sutton's awake. Murphy's awake. Everyone's awake. Everyone's awake. Right? Me. Right. And Sutton's playing with my perfumes. <laughs> no specific errands to run, but we're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. Maybe stop by Whole Foods to get some more Go Macro bars because I think that they might have them there. I need to double check and just like look up where you can get them, but they're so good and such like an easy on the go snack. And I already ate all the ones I got. So we're gonna just get out of the house. It did just start pouring, but it's supposed to stop. In a little bit so it's quite literally driving through a monsoon to get here but we're here first stop is costco gas um because it's right across the street from Nordstrom Rack, so or the new one that they just built so anyways i will be doing this and we'll see how it goes there's nobody around to help it's actually a monsoon outside and it said it was supposed to be done by now it is Pouring, so we might be car sitting for a hot minute. I brought snacks. I brought water. I'm like, it's fine You guys the amount of times I have to insert my Costco card for it to work is actually insane I don't know why it's like that But it I think like last time the very first time I was here It was because the guy said I had a newer card and they don't scan the newer cards very well, but like I was just struggling a hot minute. It is just really raining so, we're gonna wait. <laughs> it just started pouring too. I was like, oh, it's letting up. There we go, we got blue skies over there. Come on. <laughs> okay, we've got blue skies behind us, so I think we're in the clear. I just needed to do a quick diaper check. We're in the clear there too. 
perfect. These are like my favorite hairbands. So we're gonna grab these. Do you wanna hold them? They're $5, pretty good. Look. What do you have? She's insisting we get this for Murphy. Now the sun is out. So honestly, we did kind of leave that perfect timing. But let me give you a little Nordstrom rack haul. Um, I got more hair bands. I finally got hairspray. Um, I got the living proof kind. And then I got her a pair of shoes so she can match me and Colin with her little socks because they had those in her size. They had shoes that literally matched mine, but they were three sizes too big. So I was like, well, we'll just come back, try again find some some rounds and then we got Murphy a toy because it is his birthday next week too his is the 18th mine's the 13th torture post department comes out on the 19th we've got some fun birthdays coming up and things but that's everything from Nordstrom Rack I'm honestly so bad at shopping for myself like in person I don't know why I'm, I'm more of like a I'd rather shop for myself online kind of gal but um ended up looking for call in while we were in there because as you guys know we have that wedding in Charleston and he has like one good outfit to wear to a wedding he's worn it to every wedding we've ever been to and we have another one coming up and so I was looking for something new for him to wear that's like well first of all he should wear what he wore to our wedding because it would be perfect and it's not that big of a deal but he ripped his pants at our wedding and and castle. because he ripped his pants he didn't take good care of his coat and now his coat is just like a mess and needs to be dry cleaned and then I'm not gonna find like exact matching pants anyway so I was like whatever I'll just look for you but I think I'm gonna look at Belk because Belk was initially where we got his um, like Belk online was where we got his outfit from um, for our wedding and it was pretty inexpensive I don't think that they sell the brand anymore because I was like kind of looking online and I didn't see it but I did see some like more affordable options than what I saw in there everything was still kind of like $200 in there and I was like if my husband cannot take care of anything he does not need to be getting a $200 thing because he won't take care of it okay it literally feels so good outside now we are at Whole Foods now um to find go macro bars i looked them up i'm pretty sure you can get them here might get a smoothie or just something to eat here too because i'm hungry Hi. come on see these try those i was gonna get a smoothie but i stood there for like a minute and no one came up so i was like you know what whatever but we do have some things we can do a taste test with um, i also got a chicken Caesar salad because I was just so hungry and we got something for her too. I also have other snacks. I got strawberries, bananas. I got these for her so I thought she could try them and I did end up finding the Go Macro Bars so that's good and also I got the new Barbie Olipop so I figured that we could try this together and one more thing. I need a fork and I have a pouch for her too so oh don't lean back okay no don't lean back here look you want something to eat here we should roll down the windows a little bit oh not on the way though ah. wow okay I think you should try this there's some there's some cookie in here you want to try it yeah? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. You want to take a bite? Mm. You just want to hold it. Actually, maybe not. Let's just turn the air on us, huh? Mmm. How is it? Good? Is it good? Is it good? Thumbs up? Good? She's been attached to that <laughs> dog treat or dog toy. It's so cute. Okay. Mommy's gonna eat a salad. Is that okay with you? You stay here. Here, you can lean back against my arm. Let's try the Olipop really quick. It's peaches and cream flavor. Okay, this Olipop is amazing. I really like the Olipop. You can have that, but you have to eat that one first, okay? 
Thank you. Okay, Eat that one. Cookie. Here, you have a cookie in your hand. Yeah. What's in your hand? Just, like, Dying. The toast just came out, so I'm like, put it on to play. <laughs> you have, you yeah. Let's go. Wait, no, we can't go. You're not in your car seat, and I think we're gonna have to do a diaper change before we go. Are you having a fun girls' day? Yeah. Yeah. Can I have another kiss? Kiss. Aww. <laughs> so I went back there to play because she's into buckling and unbuckling right now. But the Caesar salad is pretty good. It's really hitting for me right now. I was also super hungry, so. We're back just in time for nap time. I also forgot to show you guys, I restocked on the turmeric supplement I was taking. Um, turmeric is a like natural yeah. anti-inflammatory. So um, I've been liking taking that. Okay guys, we did um, nap time. I laid Sutton down in her crib and she took it. She stayed asleep. So I just used that time to get work done and TikToks and stuff like that. And now she's awake. She didn't sleep for like super long, but it was good enough. It's also pouring again. So I'm going to get her right now. Go give Murphy a hug. Aw. I'm obviously watching her very closely, but she is obsessed with little butterfly clips right now. Buddy. <laughs> I have to finish. I'm putting up a video right now for you guys, so I'm gonna do that really quick before I get too busy with her. Okay, let's see. Get your seat. Obviously, I'm solo parenting because Colin is on a work trip. We've entered back time era. She has a soap gin, it's cute. Look at you. Look at you, so cute. Look at your arms free. You wanna hold it? Good morning. Can you say good morning? Good, <laughs> she's chugging. I'm thirsty this morning. Oh. Can you say good morning? Light. Whoa! Oh man, girl. I said, look. We're tired. Can we? I said, what? I said, what? I said, Oh, Murph. Did Sissy put these clips in your hair? There we go. I took them out. <laughs> It's okay. I feel like I'm moving at snail pace today. I'm just so slow. But I finally got dressed and ready. I think we're just gonna go grab a coffee from Tuesdays. And then I finished all my work early since like obviously I knew my birthday's tomorrow. I honestly can't believe it. It feels kinda weird. But uh oh. have to be careful. Okay. Come here, baby. Anyway, the way I just struggled so hard to pick out an outfit was bizarre. And here I have them. I have them. Socks. I have them. Come here. Um, anyway, so my birthday is tomorrow. I just don't want this place to be a wreck uh, on my birthday. And Colin doesn't come home until tomorrow morning. So this is my plan. Also, it's noon. However, she hasn't been going down for a nap until 1.30. So um, it's fine. <laughs> We're just going to Tuesdays. It's not going to be a deal. But when I tell you I've been moving at snail pace this morning, I have literally been moving at snail pace. But there are toys everywhere because she went on like a throwing everything on the ground rampage. So when we get back, I'm planning on like fingers crossed that she doesn't take a contact nap because if she doesn't, this will work. If she does, this won't work. I'm going to deep clean. Let me get your new shoes. Her new Sambas. I'm wearing my Sambas. Look, they match. They match. Do you need some water before we go in? I gotcha. I gotcha. Can we kiss? Oh, no, no, no. You burped in my kiss. Alright, my 
going to freak out in Tuesdays. However, the owner has two kids, and I'm like, and he was in there, and he's so nice. So I was like, you know, I know you know what I've been through. So I wasn't even freaking out about it. But I'm going to turn... I'm like, let's just roll down the windows and eat in the car because it's so nice out. Here, look, mommy got a snack. Do you want some? Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? Anyways, the owner is super sweet and he gave her a duck. I also got the cutest flowers ever. Well, we're just gonna sit here and enjoy our coffee and milk. These flowers are so cute. I'm pretty sure they're like so thirsty. They're like, please put us in water. Thanks. Anyway, so cute. Oh, that one it might have to be a little bit shorter. Oh, wait. I'm like, hold on. And I'm gonna go put them on the table, except I'm sure my child's gonna try and climb up and get them, which is why I don't get flowers very often, but I was like, it is my birthday, so almost. She's eating a snack before nap time. Put these on the table and get everything ready for nap time. Button is sleeping, which is huge. Huge. So, I just need chapstick really quick. We're not chapstick, but like something. So, what I'm gonna do is start cleaning. I just had a little snack, just some goat cheese. Um, I'm gonna listen to the toast and, you know, since we were already talking about Aspen and Parker's divorce, I cannot believe Gary and Teresa are getting divorced and it's one of the stories today on the toast. But like, seriously. I saw that, I told my mom, she was like, no. Okay, I'm gonna clean. By the way, these shorts are from Zara and they're like far too big, but they're the only pair of jean shorts I have that are like long like this. So I can't decide if I wanna keep them or get rid of them and like, I just need a smaller size or maybe I should go get them taken in a little bit. I don't really know, but anyway, there's the jean shorts. Here's my outfit for today. She just woke up. It's okay, I'm gonna see if I can get her back to sleep. If not, we'll just clean together. All right, she's awake for real now. She slept on me a little bit longer um, when I went in there. And now she's awake, but she didn't want me to take her out of her sleep suit, so she's laying on the couch in her sleep suit. Also, I'm so excited because um, I have been trying to get something from Daily Drills for forever, literally. Um, and every time I shop, it spells out before I get it. And I um, wanted the light pink oversized crew from one of their, it was like Aussie stretch drops and it sold out and I just got an email that it restocked, so I got it. And I'm so excited, so happy birthday to me. I'm pretty excited, can't wait. And we have to pick up because we're gonna run Walter, okay?
at these cute plates we recently got. For dinner, we are doing Indian takeout. I like, literally can't open it though. Are you good? Just chicken tiki masala or tikka or however you say it. I'm redeeming because last time when we made it from home, it was good. It just like wasn't as good as this one place we found. It's called Moon. We always get Moon Indian in Marietta. Water on bottle service. Guys, solo parenting is not for the week. I'm humbled every time I have to do it. Got the room already. I love you. <laughs> to put my hair up, but solo momming is something else. I'm so excited for Colin to come home tomorrow. And it's finally time to get in bed. It took me a minute to get set into bed again tonight. Because I think it was because we were running a little bit late on her nap. She ended up sleeping like way later than normal. But she was sleeping and she, it's besides the point, she was tired. And as always, a little reminder, if you are a single mom, solo mom often, divorced mom, I guess that would be a single mom territory if you mom by yourself a lot power to you it is difficult it is hard work it is not for the weak and it is just I just have so much respect for military moms for single moms for the whole nine yards so anyway I just want to mention that because every time Colin goes out of town and I solo parent I just think to myself how grateful I am for him and how like hands-on and truly amazing he really is. He knows it too, but he's such a good dad, such a good husband, and I'm so grateful for him because when I saw a mom, it really puts in perspective for me how this is people's life. I have somebody in my life close to me who is a military wife, mom, and her husband leaves for a very long time and they have a young baby and I can't even imagine how she's doing it. So I need to text her and check in on her because her husband just left, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'm excited for the next vlog, obviously, because it's my birthday vlog, but I'm even more excited for the tortured post department to come out in like six days. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, make sure you're subscribed if you are not already and I will see you guys in the next vlog.